friends and family, this is E3 on Twitch, and I am here joined by our guest Ryan and my co-host Kelly. We're going to talk a little bit about Forza Motorsport 7, which we just saw a trailer for. We did. Tell us a little bit about who we just watched, first and foremost. Who was that, who was that driver? Well, you saw a lot in that, in that, in that trailer. Mm -hmm. You saw Dubai, which is our crown jewel track. We're really excited about that. You also saw a, a character we call uh, Maria Rossi mm -hmm. driving the 919 uh, Porsche. Looked awesome. Thank so you. So cool. Dubai, actually a place that I spent, I lived there for a little, bit, really? a little while. Yeah, so it was cool to see it cool. depicted that way. Why is Dubai the crown jewel track? Why was that the well, location? Well, every year we, we pick a track that we want to use as our uh, sort of opening track, mm -hmm. right? It's part of our initial experience. And this, this year we wanted to, wanted to travel overseas and get out into the desert and provide our players with something new and something different. And, and Dubai was the perfect place for that. Cool. Well, we saw the trailer. I know uh, a few, you know, we saw, we saw Forza in the um, press conference. It was presented as just a, a big to-do, so many pieces of that. I want to talk first, before we get to some of the cool pieces, about why, um, why this Forza is new and different and upgraded. Tell me a little bit about what we're going to see, because what I see immediately when I look at that is realism. Absolutely. So is, yeah. that, is that what we're looking at here? Absolutely. I mean... Forza has always been about an authentic racing experience, realism, and what you saw there was Forza Motorsport 7 on display at 4K, Ultra HD, where every single pixel just comes alive. Mm -hmm. That means our cars, our tracks, our high dynamic range skies just come alive to create a greater sense of immersion. Mm. And uh, that's really what Forza is all about, is, is immersion, authentic immersion. Oh, and when that trailer starts, I'm like, oh, this is a cutscene. it's gotta be. And then you see in the bottom corner, like actual game footage. That's insane. Why focus on hyper-realism over other games? Like, why do you think mm -hmm. Forza leads hyper-realism over other, other driving games? Well, our fans tell us that they want a very realistic, authentic racing experience. And so, thanks to the power of the Xbox One, it is a monster. It gives us all of that capacity to create a really great, rich 4K experience. Mm -hmm. And so when you've got all that power and you've got the ability to achieve 4K realism and you're delivering for your fans, that's what the game's all about. And this is just on Xbox One? This is on Xbox One, Xbox One X, and PC. Oh, wow, PC. PC. It's, it's a Play a Anywhere title, right? So that means if I, if I own a copy, I can play it on all those. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's really cool. We yeah, we've actually spent the last couple years listening to our, our our community, and with the introduction of Forza Motorsport Apex and Forza Horizon Three, we've really learned a lot about what PC players want, and they mm. really tell us three things. First, they tell us that they care about graphics. They mm. want 4K graphics. They want high definition. The second thing they tell us is that they want. Uh, a variety of hardware configurations to play on. Hmm. And so this game will support ultra high-end PCs. Cool. It'll also support- Very optimized. Very optimized, absolutely. I mean, we are, uh, we are all about optimization and, and, and 60 frames a second, 4K. And uh, we'll play on lower end, lower end PCs as well and everything in between. Nice. And then the third thing they tell us is that they want peripherals. Mm -hmm. They want wheels. I was gonna ask. They want wheels, they want they want controllers, and so we're going to support every fan requested wheel on the market. Really, wow. every single. I mean, that's a bold claim. Every single one. Every every single one. In fact, we were just in the studio last week testing uh, peripherals, and we had people playing on Dance Dance Revolution pads. Oh, that's, that's great! Say. I just play. Oh man, I, I, you, sorry. I would definitely play Dance Dance Revolution like Forza. That sounds great. You should try it, and and Guitar Hero guitars as well. Are you serious? I'm serious. I'm serious. Because we have a few streamers on Twitch that their thing is unconventional controllers. We actually had someone playing, uh, what was it, Overwatch on bananas? Winston. They played Winston with bananas. Yeah. Like they electrodes plugged into the bananas and he would squeeze them. And that's so I don't know if that's beyond, you know, the realm of the possible. But that's so cool because I used to, when I used to play racing games as a kid, that was my thing. I had my little plastic wheel. And I, I would the arcade experience, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Well, we've like got a that. sled on the show floor that's on, a uh, that's on hydraulics. Uh -huh. Curved glass, wow. beautiful curved glass, 4K screen. Uh, it is. Uh, it's got a steering wheel. It moves. It is very intense and fun. So to go, go check it out. I definitely. will have to do that for sure. Besides aesthetic changes, what has been added on to Forza 7? Well, there's quite a bit. One of the things that you're going to notice right off the bat is that the driving experience has changed. And really? so, absolutely, we've put a lot of care into how the car feels. Mm -hmm. And so when you're barreling down the track at 200 miles an hour, you're going to notice the car starts to shake. You're going to see parts rattle. You're going to feel that intensity. Sounds turned up to cool. 11. It gives you immersion. It gives you immersion. You're not just in a flat car that's going down a track. There's actually things affecting you, affecting the ambiance around you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We've got new collision cameras. The car, the driver moves with the 
physics of the car. It's that immersion. That's so cool. And you, you mentioned to me earlier, I think, that I can actually customize my driver as well as my car, right? So personalization has always been at the heart of, of Forza Motorsport. We started with the livery editor, the mm -hmm. ability to customize cool. your car, drive avatars, and, and how driver, drivers behave in the mm -hmm. real world and in, in the game. Wait, what did you call them? They're called drive avatars. So we, we, <laughs> uh, we capture how players how players race, and then those behaviors of how they race show up in the game. Really? It's an extra element of, of personalization. What does that mean? When you capture how, the, how they race? Well, if mean? you and I are friends uh -huh. and you're driving, we're learning about how you drive. And if oh. I'm playing and you're offline, I'll actually experience how you drive in the game. Whoa, cool. It cool. is cool. And then uh, in Forza Motorsport 7, we're introducing the ability to personalize your driver. Nice. So we're pulling the driver out of the car and you'll have over 300 race suits to wow. choose from to personalize your driver. And so you'll see those in pre-race, you'll see those in post-race, and you'll see them in the multiplayer lobbies as well. Wow, cool. So I can really kind of express myself as I'm being immersed. You can. Everything from uh, vintage race suits to modern day race suits, and there's a whole bunch of uh, extra pop culture inspired race suits as well. Wow, pop culture inspired. Can pop you tell culture. us anything about them? I'm sure that they're Stay kind of tuned. secret. Okay. okay. Stay tuned. That's awesome. Well, I, w I would be remiss if I didn't mention, because like I said, the, the press conference really stuck with me. You guys unveiled an actual car, that special 911, in honor of Forza Motorsport 7. Tell us a little bit about why you guys made that decision to do something that big as a collaboration. Well, it was a historic moment for us because we announced the 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 mm -hmm. RS to the world on stage. So Porsche actually was a part of that. Mm -hmm. And we announced the car for the world at a video game conference here at E3. Wow. So there's a, there's the significance of that. Yeah, right? yeah. But it's really at the heart at the heart of why we did that is we want to bring people who are passionate about cars into the Forza community. Mm -hmm. And we want the Forza community to experience the real world of, of, of automotive culture. And totally. so it's marrying those two is really what we do and why we do it. I liked that so much because it made, to me, so real the connection between... Uh, on, on Twitch, we talk a lot about fandom, right? Things that we're just fans of. And I feel like car fandom, such as it were, was really fed by this this new car that was a, a, a release, mm -hmm. if you will. Mm -hmm. And kind of the idea, it made it more real to me that, oh, okay, if I like that, I can experience that mm -hmm. in the game. And That's I, right. And I loved the, the blending of fandoms we have here that... You know, if you're into something, you can experience it through a video game. I think mm -hmm. that's why we all like video games so much. Absolutely. What are the uh, options for multiplayer? Is there a tournament mode? Is there a bracket mode? Like, what's going on? Yeah, so there's there's quite a bit that's changing with with multiplayer. First, we're uh, we're introducing leagues, and so they're they're based on seasons, and so you'll play. Right. And how do you, how does ranking work for that? Ranking is based on points, and you'll you'll get put into a band, and you'll in, we ensure that you're playing with uh, with people that are similar in skill. So there's actual matchmaking. There's abso ac absolutely actual And I'm just going to use regular eSports, but it's like, you know, bronze, silver, gold, and then you have like a master's league for the top 1% of the players. It's very similar that you can compete, and you'll be ranked, and you'll be put in these bands. And you can, if, if you if you play Forza Motorsport and you're great, uh, you definitely can work your way up to competing on the stage for our uh, for our, uh, our our esports trophies. How is that? Uh, what's what's the esports plan for Forza Seven? Well, the 85th annual Le Mans is coming up, and for the first time, we're actually going to be crowning a champion of the Forza That's RC great. Racing Championship. Yep. Ah, That's were so you, cool. Were you guys like in communications with them, saying like, you know, we're coming out with Forza Seven. We really want to be able to integrate real life racing with gaming racing. Uh, we're partnering with Le Mans to uh, allow players to experience Forza RC at Le Mans, wow. and we will crown a champion at the 85th Le Mans. That is so cool. So if someone has that in mind as a goal, where should they start? I know you can come play on the show floor. Where can people stay in touch with the game? Tell us more about where we can find. Well, the, absolutely. You can play today in Forza Motorsport 6, yeah. and you can pre-order the game okay. actually today as of this morning. It oh, will really? be available October 3rd. Awesome. Okay. And then we do have, you have playable on the show floor, is that we right? We absolutely do. Okay, awesome. So people can come down there. And then is there any social media, website people should check out if they want to learn more and, and see more about the about Forza Motorsport 7? Sure. You can go to xbox.com, of course. You can also go to Forza Motorsport Net, which is our website and community page. Nice. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, Ryan. This thank has been you. an absolute pleasure. Thanks. Can't wait to try that out. I'm definitely going to have to come to that booth and try that. What did you call it, a sled? It is a sled. A sled. I'm going to try it. There's That's two of awesome. them. Okay, Kelly and I, we can go and go head-to-head. -head. That no. sounds awesome. Thank you guys so 